Flexibility Assessments The first assessment is the Canadian Trunk Forward Flexion Test. It measures hamstring and lower back flexibility. First start with a 5-10 to 10 minute aerobic warm up and remove shoes. Sit with feet flat against the flexometer or the sit and reach box at the 20 centimeter mark, which is a zero point. Reach forward with both hands as far as possible. As reaching forward, exhale and hold for two seconds. Do not lead with one hand and ensure that knees are not bent. This test is scored in centimeters. Make sure to repeat the assessment and take the best of two scores and then categorize according to ACSM standards subtracting 3 centimeters from each value in the table. Here I am shown performing the Canadian Trunk Forward Flexion Test. My score is 29 centimeters. The next assessment is the YMCA Sit and Reach Test. It measures hamstring and lower back flexibility. Again, before the assessment, begin with a 5-10 to 10 minute aerobic warm-up and remove shoes. Place the yardstick on the floor and strip of tape on the 15 inch mark. Place feet on the tape edge about 10 to 12 inches apart. Reach forward and exhale as you reach. Fingers must touch the yardstick and hold for two seconds. Make sure to not lead with one hand and that knees are not bent. This test is scored in inches. Make sure to repeat the assessment and take the best of two scores and then categorize according to ACSM standards. Here I am shown performing the YMCA sit and reach test. My score is 18 inches. Next assessment is the chair sit and reach test. It measures hamstring and lower back flexibility and is ideal for older populations. After a 5 to 10 minute aerobic warm up, sit in a chair 17 inches in height, placed against the wall. You do not need to remove your shoes. Extend one leg with ankle dorsiflexed and keep untested leg flat on the floor. Keep head in normal alignment. Reach forward without leading with one hand and exhale. Hold position for two seconds. Use a second person for assistance to hold the ruler and take your measurement. The score is taken in inches. The space between the big toe and fingertips is a negative score. If the fingers pass the big toe, it's counted as a positive score. Touching the toes is scored as zero. Make sure to repeat the assessment and take the best of two scores. Here I am shown performing the chair sit and reach test, first with my right leg and then with my left leg. As you see, the untested leg remains flat on the floor and the tested leg ankle is dorsiflexed. My left leg was 4.5 inches and my right leg was 5 inches. The last assessment is the Thomas test. It measures hip flexor flexibility. After a 5-10 to 10 minute aerobic warm up, Lie supine. Bring one leg to the chest. If the straight leg remains in contact with the mat, hip flexors of that leg are flexible. You are scored as either flexible or inflexible. You will need a second person to assist and watch if the leg remains in contact with the mat. After performing the test for the first leg, switch to the other leg and follow the same steps. Repeat the assessment for consistency of results. I am shown here performing the Thomas test, first pulling my right leg to my chest and then my left leg to my chest. For each side, both legs remain flat on the floor. After performing the assessments, we can categorize our fitness. For the Canadian trunk forward flexion test, my results were 29 centimeters and I am a 25 year old female. Looking at my age and gender, I fall under the fair category. The YMCA sit and reach test, my results were 18 inches. Since I am a 25 year old female, I fell under the category of below average or in the 40th percentile. For the Thomas test, both of my legs remained in contact with the mat, making both hip flexors flexible.